I've had a lot of requests on social media to put together a set of DVDs on how to create armatures and so I finally got around to it this last week and finished up this last weekend putting together all these videos. It's taken me all day long to put this video out to announcing <laughs> this this set of DVDs but this is a creating an armature armature for dogs, horses, humans and if you follow my instructions on these two DVDs this one's going to be on the horse and the dog and this one is going to be on just the human. This one's an hour and a half long this one's 30 minutes long that's why I haven't charged as much for these two DVDs as I normally would for a three hour set of DVDs this is only two hours. Anyway uh, the animal anatomy is basically the same on all animals. Horse and dogs uh, are some of the most popular subjects and that's why I did it on the horse and the dog armatures. But once you learn how to make an armature for either horse or the dog, with the information I give on this DVD, you'll be able to make armatures for every animal you ever want to do a, a, a sculpture of. Uh, you'll just have to find good material on the anatomy to do that, but uh, with this information you can take that and uh, expand on it so you can create your own armatures for anything. This is the human anatomy uh, one and uh, this is uh, 30 minutes long and it shows how to make a human armature. And uh, I was going to do it on both the female and the male, but there's so diff little difference. Um, the male is just narrower in the hips than a female and and wider in the shoulders than a female but then again there are females that have wide shoulders and so there's no set uh, rule on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, uh, a preview of both of these DVDs. I'm going to start with the uh, horse and a dog uh, preview and uh, then I'll show you how to purchase this DVD and uh, others at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Alright, I've just finished uh, the two set DVD set of uh, creating uh, armatures for both the uh, horse, the uh, dog, and the human. And the reason I uh, chose to do one of the uh, dog and the uh, horse is because uh, animals uh, are different than humans in creating armatures and you have to know how to do it and once you learn the basics of creating armatures for uh, animals then you can uh, pretty much make it for any animal that you want to choose. Uh, it's just a matter of having the basics uh, that I give you in these uh, two uh, sets of DVDs. Uh, here I am uh, doing the uh, horse armature and uh, I show you uh, pretty much uh, how to get it started and all that with the uh, uh, a simple small uh, sculpture of a uh, horse and uh, I'm using baling wire which is a uh, wire you can get at a hardware store and uh, it's a thin steel wire that uh, comes in a huge roll and it's uh, about under seven dollars for a, enough wire to last you forever. Uh, here I'm uh, basically just uh, showing you how to attach the legs once uh, we create the uh, armature for the legs and how to center it between the, uh, the uh, breastbone and between the two uh, shoulders of the uh, armature for the legs. And now I'm going to attach the rear leg uh, to the uh, horse armature using electrician's tape. I show you how to come up with uh, the shaping of the armatures for the legs, uh, where all the joints are, how to make them proportional to the actual uh, size uh, animal that you're doing whether it's a horse or a dog or a bison or a whatever. Uh, you, you have to have the proportions and then you have to have an armature that I'm showing here as being flexible, one that can uh, 
you can adjust the uh, position of the shoulder blade uh, as well as the, uh, the movement of the leg and such as that. Now I'm going to go on to showing what I'm going to do with this armature. Horse armature. Finished making three armatures of horses. I need to get the board. I'm going to mount them on and I'm going to have to decide how they're going to be positioned. But I'm going to work out the uh, poses first and then what I'm going to do is uh, cut out a piece of wood to mount each one on so I can work on each one separately and then put them all together. Some photos off the web of horse movement so I got the legging leg positioning correct. If you're going to do a horse you better know how the legs are going to be planted on the ground or unplanted on the ground. And then so I try to show you basically how to uh, find uh, your leg movements of the animal. You have to have it uh, match the actual movements of animals. And then I start to uh, show you how to set up a project, this, uh, uh, a set up uh, a design for your movement of your animals and such. I'm going to try to line it up here. Now you can take each one of these clays and put it on directly on your sculpting stand or your board that you sculpt on and you can work on each horse individually. These horses are strong enough to hold themselves up. Alright, that uh, showed you pretty much how you create a, a design and your armatures and then how to arrange your armatures so that uh, they work onto a base. And if you're doing multiple uh, horses or figures, uh, how to do it and make it easy on you to sculpt them individually. All right, that's uh, it for my instructional DVD. I'm just uh, uh, finishing up with the armature for the horses and how to arrange them and how to uh, design a, uh, an episode in time, you might say, a moment in time. Okay, for the dog, I basically go through the same uh, method of uh, research that you do for the horse, uh, searching for uh, dog anatomy and uh, bone structure and different breeds. And, and uh, it, it depends on the breed of dog that you want to do. Um, it all comes down to basically the same uh, type of uh, making an armature for uh, both a uh, small dog as well as a big dog. And this is a big dog. Um, I got the uh, drawing off of uh, Google search and you have to be uh, specific in your search on Google or you'll get all kinds of other things. Uh, you don't get exactly what you want and so by speci specifying exactly what you want you find the right uh, information uh, and drawings for uh, what you're going to do. Now here I am starting the armature using baling wire once again and it's basically uh, the same method that you use in creating the uh, horse armature. The basic uh, dog armature and uh, from this point you can design your the movement of the dog, uh, how he's going to be either sitting or running. You have all the basic joints that you need uh, to help you uh, with your uh, armature and uh, the guide for how big of a rib cage to put on them and all that stuff. All right, let's go on to the human next. Now we move on to making the human armature. 
and in this case a male. So now we're going to get started on the uh, human armature. <clears throat> Women are different proportional measurements than a male. This is a male skeleton, this is a female drawing. Try to find a female skeleton you can't in the art books. They just don't have them. Uh, the males dominate, and that's uh, a sad state of affairs, but that's the way life is in the art world. I go into proportions. Everything is figured out in proportions, both in animals and in humans. But in humans, it's all by head measurements, and uh, I talk about that here, showing you how to use a pair of calipers to work out uh, your head measurements for the different uh, uh, size person you're doing, such as an old person, which is going to be smaller than a full-grown uh, young adult. Uh, I talk about uh, the different areas that you have to look out for as far as uh, uh, anatomy points and such as that. And then I start showing you how to make the armature itself. Here I show you how to make that baling wire, which is a weak wire, and I try to show you how to make it into a stronger, uh, stiffer wire, one that you can actually make uh, larger sculptures with. And uh, now your wire is stronger, it can hold the shape better. It can hold more of a weight, and uh, the uh, wound wire will keep the clay from sliding down the... Uh... So I'm just finishing up the, uh, the armature of the human here, uh, the uh, male, and um, I'm getting ready to uh, put it onto a board uh, for mounting. And here I've mounted it on the board, and... Uh, so that's uh, the starting of your armature. Now, when you do a female, you're going to make the hips wider. You're going to make the shoulders narrower. I wouldn't make much difference as far as the heights goes. Uh, if you want to make her the same height as a man, that's that works. But the female will be a little different in measurements than a man. Um, the wrist. On a armature should fall just about where the groin is and that's where I've got it and the bottom of the elbow will fall in the bottom of the uh, rib cage there's a lot of uh, material on online for uh, creating uh, proportional figures and I would suggest that you do a lot of research it takes buy all the art books that you can buy, find on, on anatomy and on drawing the human figure because everything you gather will just increase your knowledge of what you're doing. All right, that's uh, going to do it for the armature of a human and uh, the uh, horse and as well as the uh, dog armature. I hope you gained some insightful knowledge from all this. It's uh, something that I've been working on for nearly 50 years. My first armatures were, it, it, they cost me $20, $30 uh, to do an armature, and that was back in the 60s when, when uh, 400 bucks a month was what you made in living. So I had to figure out some way of doing armature is much cheaper. Now as far as the support for this, uh, you could use a, uh, a, a wooden dowel like I did it with the, the horse. Um, and there's different ways of setting that up as well. And each figure and each design is going to take a different kind of uh, support. You can even get a, a thicker wire uh, to act as uh, your support as well. All right, that's going to be it for this uh, set of DVDs. These are things that I've kind of taught myself over the years, and uh, I'm try I try to save money everywhere I can, and this is one of those areas is making armatures. Now, as far as uh, the figure goes, uh, I have uh, instructional DVDs 
of course, that show you how to um, create figures, uh, human figures, uh, both female and male. And uh, I will be improving on those even more in the future. But uh, for now, um, thank you for watching and uh, happy sculpting. All right, this is my uh, blog page where I have my uh, reviews of each one of my uh, available uh, DVDs and I, I'll show you all about this in just a second but I just wanted to show you something that won't show up in the uh, video coming up about how to purchase DVDs I want to show you the fact that I have put the dog and horse and human uh, DVD set in here it just won't show up in the video you're about to watch only because I did this video th that's coming up next uh, maybe a year ago <laughs> so it wouldn't have been there all right I just wanted to show you it is in that list let's go to the computer now and I'll show you first you go to my website uh, where I have all my nine instructional DVDs offered to you for sale and uh, are listed and uh, a short review of each uh, DVD. It opens up onto this page, Clay to Bronze, and, uh, and you'll see a review of all my uh, current nine uh, instructional DVDs uh, listed here. Uh, and each one is uh, linked to a YouTube review video of uh, the items or the uh, subject on each one of the uh, DVDs and uh, you pick out the one you want or the ones you want uh, you can pick uh, more than one or all of them but anyway then you go over to the upper part of the uh, right column and there you'll find this drop down menu where you purchase my instructional DVDs and you just uh, click on the little arrow right here and that drops down a menu and it shows you the listing of all available uh, DVDs I currently have available for you to purchase. Purchase uh, more than one um, that's fine if you want to purchase this one uh, uh, DVD or a set of DVDs uh, that's fine too. Uh, there's a there's also available the ability to purchase all of uh, the selected nine uh, DVDs and uh, in one package, and you can save uh, over a hundred dollars in that purchase. So using the drop-down menu, you go down until you find one that you want. For instance, for instance, creating a horse's head in clay. You click on it and then you click on add to cart when you click on the uh, add to cart a page will come up uh, linked to paypal your paypal account you just uh, make your purchase if you want to add another one to your cart you just uh, go down and uh, for instance uh, a full figure of a mountain man uh, click on that add that to your cart then it comes up uh, on your paypal page again and so now you got two DVDs and uh, with the total and everything that you pay to uh, PayPal, of course. All right. I hope that's helpful. I hope uh, you got something from this. And uh, I hope I've uh, perked up your interest in sculpting. It's a wonderful uh, career. It's a wonderful hobby uh, you can make into a career. And... Uh, it, it, the, the world opens up to you when you when you can sculpt and eventually at, you'll figure out ways of sculpting better every day every time you sculpt something you'll learn something from the last one you did and that's I still learn I'm doing this for geez over 50 years and I'm still learning I'm still doing things for the first time so you, you just have to have patience and uh, know that uh, eventually all this is going to work out fine. 
All right, um, I'm going to let you go now and uh, see you next time. Happy sculpting.